This is a game of computer. Then this is the web. And good reason, this is where the servers are. What's my soul? Chess out. Thank you. Mm. Okay. So, Then someone is trying to search, let's say he searches for nearest restaurant A. Then what this does, since, since he's using the internet now, these are supposed to connect for them to give out the outcome. Why? He searches for that, it will go to web. If it goes in web, it goes to my servers where there is information of the nearest restaurant. After the servers, it is brought back a computer as our one and Google it. It shows the direction, things like that. Yeah. Okay, then there's someone who is outside. Eh? Let's say this hacker now. Eh? This hacker is queen. Let's say, like, the way, apart from this, I was just trying to demonstrate what happens, how it comes back. Eh? Now, let's say you're keeping important information in this server. Like, uh, let's say this is a bank. This is, let me use Francis's bank. FD. Yeah. <laughs> so then I've got a lot of people's bank in this server, a lot of their passwords and everything. Eh? Mm. Their NRC numbers, their driving license. You don't want someone to be seeing a driver's license anyhow with NRC. Then, on this, on this PC, this, let's say this is the same bank, then they try to access, uh, or let's say there's money that has been lost. This, I'm just giving an example. Right? They try to search what time did someone who went to do the money, things like that, how did it get lost? They go to the servers, the servers get back the information, like what I was explaining about the nearest restaurant, then right? mm -hmm. it comes back. Now, this one, he wants to steal money. At which point does he have? Does he have the servers or does he have the computer? Where does, where does he go for a code and archive? That was my question now. You <laughs> remember? <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Let's answer the question. Are you gonna ask the question? No, please, please. Okay, now which IP address? Because now you we are talking about three IP addresses. Well, that all the three IP addresses will be shown to be. Oh, okay, that's that's it. Okay, 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 So if I search for something in the search bar, mm -hmm. this is the this is the internet mm -hmm. and then this is the server. So the interaction is that whatever you search for, the internet will process and then it will find the server that is containing that particular information you need that, that particular thing. And then the, the server will be able to interpret that information and send it back to PC and then you have it in display. You know? So now what is usually happening? So when a hacker is trying to steal information, mm -hmm. what happens is this. Inside the server, there are certain files that contain engines that run certain functions. So these files are what the hacker is actually after. Because if these files become vulnerable, then the hacker will know at what point is he going to steal money and he will know what he's supposed to change. Now, for this files to be protected, there is a document that is called an HD access document. What an HD access document does, it's a rewrite engine. So, instead of me seeing where exactly uh, these engines, which documents these engines are placed in, what the, HD, uh, what the rewrite engine does, it changes the name into something that I am unable to understand and into something that the internet itself will be unable to interpret. So, for example, if this file is called Francis, and the Francis file has got these engines that allow the transactions of money. So what will particularly happen is that the rewrite engine will change this file from Francis maybe to 0142.f 
rsq so meaning it will be impossible for the hacker to access these documents so what the hacker is mainly after is the same file called francis which contains the engine so if he's able to enter into the engine then he's able to change the way the the way the functions were created so his question to... was which ip address is used right mm. no which IP address? He's not talking about the IP address. He's saying at what point does the hacker mm -hmm. do that? So is that the question? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with that one. Yes. So at what point does the hacker hack, or at what point does the hacker steal money? The point at which the hacker steals money is when he has got access to such a documentation. Uh, is that because okay? This is why because when they are making those servers, they can't get something that is simple for people to work. And yes. They also go to work. Yes. Let's create something stronger for people not to work. Yes. But people have been hacking. Yes. Uh, so what I'm saying is like the way you explained about the hash thing. Are they don't they reverse the thing? Then they also yes. So long so long they have got the file code extension. What is important is them having the extension because they are the address bar. We always have something that is written. So this is the main thing. Yeah, the question is how are they going to know the extension? So now the extension now, that's what the question is now. Yes. How do they get into the extension? How do they grab the extension? Or where do they get the path to go to the extension? Yes, that's now the so the vulnerability now that comes to the vulnerability. So you let's talk about you as a user. How is your system created? How vulnerable is it? Number one, one of the main things that people follow are, ID, are, are, are your IDs. Your ID number one is what triggers the hacker to go into your system and steal your information. Because the moment they know what your ID is, and the, 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 that means everything that you have is at the risk of being lost. So, yes? So, the hacker usually comes into the system and steals information by knowing the main address of what is the main address that directs them into your system. But if they don't know this, that means it is impossible for the other event to go into your system. Because hacking, number one, mainly hacking only works on scripting. So if a hacker has got ex a script exposed to them, then they have hundred percent authority over your system. Alright, we'll go into details uh, in other sessions. Any Fellow students, for now.